in this video I will teach you on how you can download and install Nature Vision Evolved in Grand Theft Auto 5. So ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that you want to do is you want to follow each step carefully till the end for the best results. And after that, you want to go ahead and visit the link in the description that will redirect you towards my Discord server. Go ahead and join. After you verify yourself, you will see all the channels. A quick note, we also have a remote installation service. We can practically install anything for you. Just pick a package and we will do that for you. Scroll down after that until you see the channel named GTA Graphics. You will find post number 20 with four links. The fourth one will be two links because NVE does offer a free beta version or a paid Patreon version. Uh, depending on your budget, uh, you can pick whatever fits for you. For this tutorial, we will, we will be using the paid version, but uh, picking the free version, the installation will be exactly the same. Let's go ahead and visit the links. Go ahead and uh, download them. And the scripted V, you have to press on keep. I don't know why, since lately you have to do that. I am doing it, but you do it on your own risk. We're also downloading a trainer for this tutorial and i'm going to quickly show you on how to download the free version on the site you just go here then here and then click here and click on download um, it's going to be this website or a different website it, it changes sometimes and it will start downloading next thing is to open up are the files we just downloaded so these are the files we downloaded you also want to open up your grand theft auto main directory folder if you don't know how to do that open up steam right click on the game manage browse local files it will open up the folder as you can see right here for this tutorial we will be using a clean version we have a lot of versions and let's go ahead and start open four double click on it hit continue click on accept hit continue and here you can hit continue again i already have it so i'm not going to install it but i will be showing you how to open it for the first time search it up right click on it and click on run as administrator click yes wait for it to load up click on windows and after it's fully launched you can click on the orange bar what can i do give it permissions click ok ok and oh, i did another time i guess yes and then close go to tools go to manager click on install on all the three bars if it's asking you to create a mods folder you will click yes and then you can install this one also close it and then you can close open four then we're going to go to the second folder the script hook folder go to the bin folder select the two files that i select and just drag and drop them in the game folder if it asks if it's asking you to replace it you can click yes and then you can go back and then we're going to go to the trainer folder double click on it and select these two files that i select and also drag and drop them in the game folder you can close it down and then we can go ahead and right click on natural vision and go ahead and extract everything let's wait for it to get done and it's done you can go ahead and open up open four again double click to open up the natural vision folder and we're going to go ahead and install it in open 4 you can either double click on it and it will open up but for some of you you haven't installed this yet you can go ahead and click on edit mode and just drag and drop part one first it will open up this screen you can click on install in mods folder confirm it and there you have it after that is done you can go ahead and close it up and you can do the same with part two but before you do that go ahead and close open four and reopen it for the best results you can click edit mode again and just drag and drop part two in it and click install install to mods folder and after that is done you can go ahead and close it up if you don't know how to open up uh, like this you just go ahead and choose another program and make sure to choose open for as always and then you can do it but you have to browse for it yourself now let's go to the shaders folder select all these files and just drag and drop them right here and that's it and the last thing that we have is the optionals right here i'm gonna show you quickly on how to do this on my preferences
so that's about it folks for the files that i want to use uh we also installed uh, the volumetric clouds uh, you do need reshade for that sometimes it doesn't work right away and all you'd have to do is just reinstall the shaders right here just replace them and it will work again also it comes with a install guide uh you want to read that part where it recommends you which settings you need to have in game which are these settings tips or else some things might not work properly let's go ahead and start up the game so we're in game and as you can see the graphics are stunning and beautiful let's go ahead and walk through a few simple steps INS key on your keyboard the insert key uh, will open up the reshade and you can easily go ahead and click on NVE weather and you can click on clouds and it will pop up the beautiful beautiful clouds in a moment there you go and you can actually also change the presets on how you want it very easily and also the speed you can make it very slow or very fast that's pretty simple um and besides that you can make it rain and you'll get those beautiful raindrops on your screen which i prefer to turn it off actually uh, and you can do that by just going home and then you have here somewhere big drops available so those are the big drops small drops there you go then it's gone um what else do i like to do here is i like to turn on a filter uh, it's already on so this is the vault this is the normal normal colors that you get and this is the color boost i like it i love it so depending on your uh preferences you can turn it on besides that we also installed a simple trainer uh let's go ahead and make it nighttime oh that looks beautiful and we installed also the vehicle let's go ahead and add that also i think it was this one yeah it was this one and just look at that and we have that enhanced uh, motion blur installed as you can see is also working and and that being said uh, ladies and gentlemen this video has come to an end you can change much more in the settings i'll leave that all up to you uh, don't forget to leave a comment for me and uh yeah thank you all for watching and have a great day goodbye